In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a smooth line watermark animation in After Effects to protect your edits from being stolen. It even has a watermark. Click on the pen tool and draw a straight line exactly like this. You can activate the proportional grid and adjust your line accordingly. Next, click on fill and set it to none. Click on the stroke option and set the color to white and set the stroke to a value of 10. Okay, now let's move on to the animation. Expand this arrow, click on add, then click on trim paths. Expand trim paths 1, go one second forward on the timeline and set two keyframes for the start and the end settings. Go back to the beginning and set both these values to 50%. Select both keyframes and hit F9 to ease them up. Go to the graph editor and make sure you're on the edit speed graph and basically copy my graph. That's sort of the starting reveal animation. Now let's move ahead to the fun part. Move the time indicator just a few frames back from the last keyframe. Press P on the keyboard and keyframe the position setting. Now move the time indicator about 2 seconds forward on the timeline and change the position of the line to the other side. Ease these keyframes up with F9 and copy my graph. Now hit U and select the reveal keyframes we made earlier and copy them with Ctrl C. Just behind the last position keyframe right here, hit Ctrl V. Now select these keyframes and right click them. Expand keyframe assistant and then click on time reverse keyframes. And this will sort of close down our line at the end. But of course, that's not all. We still have the elephant in the room, which is the text layer. Double click on the rectangle tool at the top right here. Set its fill color to white and basically move this rectangle towards our initial line position. Let's rename these layers so we don't get confused. Now drop the rectangle below the line and link it with the line layer, just like this. Hit toggle switches slash modes and set the track mat of the text to our rectangle layer. But of course, don't forget to activate the inverted option using this box right here. Hit toggle switches slash modes again and activate motion blur this time. Now, if you want to go the extra mile and give your text an outro, select your layers and hit Ctrl C to copy them and hit Ctrl V. Drag the new layers towards the ending point and hit toggle switches slash modes again and basically deactivate the inverted option. That's how you make a clean watermark animation. Leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to skip ahead and download the project file and only change this text layer with your own, without doing all of this hard work, you can find it on my Patreon below. Thanks guys and have a great one.